Hi, I'm Sarah Bingston, and I'm reporting for KGFW. I'm here today at the Sibley County 4-H Dog Show. Today, the dogs are starting with agility. Before the people do the course, they have to walk through it. This is Hannah Rivard with her dog, Cover. Agility is a timed event. If you, you have 60 seconds to go through the whole course. If you go over 60 seconds, you get dark points. This is uh, my sister Emily and her dog uh, Millie. What kind of dog is she? She's a Welsh Terrier. Is she a good dog to the family? Yes. Hi, I'd like you to meet my dog, Bandit. She's a five-year-old Shetland Sheepdog. This is her first year in agility and jumpers won. This is our agility judge, Carl Reimer. Do you like judging agility? I love judging agility. The kids work so hard and get so much done. And the bond between the kids and the, and the dogs is just awesome. And, and we all have a lot of fun. How many years have you been judging agility? Uh, I think eight years. Have you judged obedience or showmanship before? Yes, I judge a lot of obedience. Um, not too much showmanship, though. I find the kids are smarter than I am. <laughs> have you ever judged in state agility? Yes, I have. Uh, both state and when they used to have the regional. Nice talking to you. Thank you. The next part of agility is agility jumpers. They only use tunnels and jumps.
Green with a blue ribbon is Sarah. <laughs> This is Sarah Banksman reporting for KGFW. I'm here with Cassidy Sloot with her dog, Stryker. What kind of events did you participate into? Showmanship and later is obedience. What's showmanship all about? You have to groom your dog and make him presentable for the judge and you have to keep him stacked so that all four feet are even with each other and you have to know your um, knowledge about your dog and about dogs in general. What are some of the questions the judges ask you? Um, they ask you about the gestation period of your dog, um, what kind of dog you're showing, and other questions in general. Thanks for being a part of the show. Good luck in obedience. Thanks. <laughs> Emily, how did the showmanship competition go? Good. What kind of questions do the judges ask you? Um, they ask me body parts of the dog and about their teeth and just stuff like that. How did you learn to be a better showmanship leader? I go to showmanship class once a week on Thursdays for a long time. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. Now we're interviewing Mariah Sweaton. With her dog, Piper. Did your dog have a lot of energy? Yeah, sometimes a little bit too much. Why'd you name him Piper? Why'd you name him Piper? Um, I don't know. It just kind of came to us, so we decided to name him that, I guess. How old is Piper? He's about two. What's Piper going to be doing today? Um, he'll be doing just obedience today. He did agility yesterday, so. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Right now, me and Mariah's dogs are doing long downs. A long down is you have to down your dog and stay him. On leash or off leash, you can do it either for three minutes. After the end of the three minutes, you have to go around your dog and stay there until the judge says, um, exercise finish. That's when you can give your treats and praise the dog. If your dog gets up early in a competition, you have to go over to your dog and you have to put the leash on your dog or just stand there with your leash in your hands and stay there. Now I'm going to show you the return. What me and Mariah are doing now is a come you um, take the lead off or you leave it on and you sit your dog and stay it and you go out to the lead length or go out a little farther without the lead and then you stand there facing towards them and then you call them the dog should come up to you sit in front of you and then the next thing you do is a finish that's if you go around around you to come to your left side otherwise you do a swing now we're gonna do a long sit bandit stay I'm Sarah Banks from Recording for G KGFW. I'm here with Marissa Corrales. With her dog, Sully. How old is Sully? Two years old. What are some of Sully's strengths? He really likes to chase animals. Does Sully ever get into trouble? Oh, yeah. he is many times. He's gotten into trouble. Good luck with the rest of the competition. Hi, I'm Sarah Bingston and I'm reporting for KGFW. I'm here with Jeff McMaines, 
the judge for obedience and showmanship. Do you like judging showmanship and obedience? I sure do. I like uh, working with kids and uh, I've been doing this for about 20 years and I always find that I uh, have real positive experience uh, working with kids. It's a lot of fun. Do you like the dogs that you judge? Sure. Yep. There's a lot of nice dogs. Some are younger, some are older, but uh, most of the dogs are pretty good. What advice do you have? Well, um, the best advice I can give you when you're showing your dog, whether it's uh, showmanship or obedience, is to get lots of practice in. Um, and remember that no matter how your dog does, whether it's good or bad, that that's only what they do that one day. And the, uh, the main part of the 4-H project is that you learn to train your dog, you work with them, and uh, that's something that you'll have forever. Um, the show only lasts one day, but the thing is, there's always another show, so if you don't do well one day, you might do better the next time, okay? Thank you very much. You're welcome. This is Sarah Bankston signing off from the Sibley County Dog Show.